high, flashing wings across the sky. Jordy Racer, Jordy Racer, on the road, in the street, hear the sound of pounding feet. Jordy Racer, Jordy Racer, fly. The story so far. Spuggy was upset when Blue Flash didn't return from the big race. Blue Flash weren't with him, Dad. Oh, don't panic, man. He'll come. Baz was sure his pigeon, Perfect Lady, was the winner. You've got us beat this time, right enough? You reckon I have it all, lad? You'd never know my lass had been in the race. She looks out, Bonnie. Gun round and see for yourself if you like, man. What happened next? when Spuggy and Janie were in Baz's loft. Look, it's another message. Jasmine Salaman, 12 o'clock, Monday. Spuggy started to write the message down in his pigeon book. But Baz was coming back. Welcome to the winning loft. Um, are all the times in yet, Baz? Well, no, but uh, perfect lady's the fastest yet, and I can't see anything to beat her. Oh, but uh, I heard bad news at the club, Spooky lad. There was a bit of a storm on the line of flight, then. Uh, Seems like some of the leading birds were smashed down by it. Maybe his blue flush was among them, you know? Bad luck. Oh, what's this? Daft bird. What did you pull that off for? Right then, Spugula. I'll see you about, eh? And uh, I hope Blue Flash turns up, eh? Hi, right. Thanks. I'm sorry about Blue Flash. Bye. But we've got other things to think about right now. Well, Salaman can't be a horse. There's no race course at Jesmond. Then, Janie noticed a sign. Look! I'll get it. Back home, Spuggy found a Stotty to help them think. Jesmond, Gotswell. Both of those names are in the messages, Spuggy. Yeah, but that's the easy bit. Even if Gotswell and Jesmond both stand for burglaries, what about Salomon and Lady St. Mary? And there's another thing I didn't understand. I can see why a gold pendant's so valuable. But what's so special about these paintings? They're old. Well, that painting on the wall's old. I painted it last year. No, that's not valuable. It's not old enough. And you're not a famous painter. What is it, anyhow? A spaceship. Give over, man. What is it? It's a lighthouse. Can you not say that? St. Mary's Lighthouse? St. Mary's Lighthouse? St. Mary's Lighthouse! Light of St. Mary! It's not a horse, it's a place! 4.30 Saturday. That's today! Away, oh, let's get over there and see what we can see.
They traveled on the metro as far as they could. Woody, feeling better? Oh, yes, thanks, Mickey. <laughs> I'm sorry I got upset. No more dogs, I promise. Plod's gone and you've got the whole studio to yourself. Oh, good. Oh, what's happened in the story? Well, Spooky and Janie have just realised that the first pigeon message was all about the lighthouse on St Mary's Island. Oh, yes, the one not far from here. That's right, they went there by metro. I remember now. Oh, Mickey, what's going on? It's as dark as night in here. Hello? Yeah, can we have some lights on in the studio, please? Oh! Oh, yo! Ouch! Ooh, that's much too bright. But to turn it down a bit. Oh. I-G-H-T. Look, Word Watchers. Those letters are in the word lighthouse. <laughs> You know, I think Janie was right. Spuggy's painting does look more like a spaceship than a lighthouse. Yes. Actually, I've got a song here about the lighthouse at St Mary's and how it helped people find their way at night. Oh, good -o. Have a listen. Mm. On the island stood St Mary's lighthouse On the water in the stormy night all the anxious flyers and the sailors Bless St. Mary's for its brilliant light In fog and wind and rain They felt a dreadful fright The sailors lost their sails The flyers lost their way And had to end their flight Always flashing from St. Mary's lighthouse Shone the signal steady, safe and bright And the flyers and the anxious sailors Tried to keep it always in their sight The storm was getting worse It beat with all its might but the flashes from St. Mary's lighthouse Signaled fear no more, this way is right Oh, the storm must have given everyone quite a fright But I like that song Hey, Wordy, I've got a problem with this request oh. I've just spilled some coffee on it and I can't read this word Listen Please play a record for my grandma, Mrs. Betty Wilson I go round to her house every Sunday for tea. She makes the best something or other in Newcastle. I wonder what that word can be. Well, it's something that's good to eat at tea time. Cakes? No, that's too short. Oh, Mickey, what do people eat lots of in Newcastle, like Spuggy? Oh, I know. Stotties. She makes the best stotties in Newcastle. Well, Word Watchers, that solved that little mystery. Tommy's granny will be pleased. Oh, yes. With a word you don't know. The main thing is to have a go. Oh, hey, and here's someone to remind us what to do. If a word is a mystery, be a detective just like me. Have a go and don't take fright, just guess. Then check if you've got it right. Now, while you were all listening to Wordy and Dog Detective, I've got started on some tape editing. I've recorded these words here on tape. 
Listen. Look. Read. Over here, I've been recording lots of INGs. Ing. 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 Now, I've already started editing this tape. Each of these little bits of tape has an ing on it. So, with the help of an editing block and some sticky tape, what do we have? Reading. Oh, yes. Build yourself a word with an ing. Reading. But, Mickey, you can't just stick an ing on every word. Look. It won't work with this word. What would you do about that? Hide. Um, well, first I'd edit that E off the end, and then I'd stick on an ing. Hiding. Aha, you've got the right idea. Here's another. Come. Coming. But I'm not coming, I'm going. I must get in some more training. I'll jog over to the lighthouse. I'll come too. I want to fly our magic e kite. Okay, Wordy. I'll leave a message to say where we've gone. Hey, wait for me. Right, off we go. Lighthouse, here we come. <laughs> come here, Red Watchers. It's me again, the Bug Bopper. I feel there's a spot of Bug Bopping needed round here. Why, I look at this message. Off to the lighthouse. There's a capital letter at the start, all right, but look, nothing at the end again. I wonder why. Um, those two were rather excited when they left, weren't they? So their message needs, how is an exclamation mark. It shows what Wordy and Mickey felt like. It's a sort of excited full stop. Now I'd better fix things to make sure an exclamation mark always comes up when it's needed. Ta-ra! <laughs> Think big, big, big at the beginning Put a capital first and you're winning Think big, think big, think big Want everyone to notice? There's no need to bark Get everyone's attention with an exclamation mark Exclamation mark Exclamation mark There's no need to bark Get everyone's attention with an exclamation mark! And this part of the story has lots of exclamation marks in it. You'll see, it's coming up now! Buggy, I think the tide's coming in. I think we ought to wait. Nah. We'll be all right, man. OK. The lighthouse was on a small island, attached to the land by a causeway. They walked across to the island. What now? Have a bit of a look around? OK. <laughs> Thank you. 
Spuggy had found the Gosforth pendant. We'd better tell somebody. Put it back where you found it. There was a phone box by the main road. We can call the police. <laughs> There was nothing they could do but wait and wait. You're right about this place anyhow, Janie. Right to St. Mary. But what about Salaman? Is that a hiding place too? Well, it's likely, isn't it? But where's Buggy? Seaton Delaval Hall? What? What about the cellars at Seaton Delaval Hall? We saw that man there, didn't we? Maybe he was picking stuff up. In the cellars? Cellar man! It's plain enough to me. So, he could be there again on Monday. Buggy and Janie watched as the driver went into the shed and started to load the junk. <laughs> 